hi, I'm Jill. Uh, I live in Northern Ireland and I'm 59 years old. Because we're part of the United Kingdom, we actually have the National Health Service here. I basically have always, my, my entire life, I always considered myself to be very healthy. And in April 2018, I happened to say to the nurse that, you know, I haven't actually had blood tests done for years. So she said, right, well, while you're here, we'll do the necessary and took the bloods. Wasn't expecting to hear anything, uh, but they got back to me and my creatinine level was higher than normal. Over here, it's measured in mu moles per litre. So my uh, creatinine was 89. The higher parameter of normal is 84. And my GFR was 57. Went back in June. So that was sort of two, just over about two and a half months later. At that stage, then I was diagnosed with uh, CKD. This is where the NHS comes in, the National Health Service, because basically what they were telling me was when I needed dialysis, then the NHS would take over. There would be nothing done unless it got worse. Because the NHS over here doesn't do anything for kidney disease until you get to dialysis, and then the care is so good, there are no renal specialists over here who do private health care. I then decided there has to be something I can do. So I spent most of the summer trying to research. And that was when I came across um, Lee Hull's uh, material. I sort of thought, I, I give it a go, you know, for over the summer. I give this a go and I see what happens. So when I went back in September, my creatinine level was 84 and my GFR was 60. So it had just gone into normal. So obviously once I got that, I thought, right, definitely going to stick with this. <laughs> uh, and since then, so that's about a year and a half now, I have been following Lee's advice and his plan as closely as I can. I wouldn't say I don't fall off the wagon now and again. In April 2018, uh, my creatinine level was 89 and my GFR was 57. The next time I went back for bloods, two months later, things had got worse and my uh, creatinine level had gone up to 91 and my GFR had gone down to 55. Once I started implementing all of Lee's advice, uh, I've had three sets of bloods done since that. And the last set of bloods, uh, my GFR has gone up to 70 and my creatinine has gone down to 78. That's an, an increase of 15 points on the GFR. So I, I'm absolutely pleased with that. And, you know, I, I, I was tired. I had a bit of edema around my ankles. In the mornings, I just felt like I couldn't get out of bed. It wasn't until I um, followed the program that I realised that actually I feel so much better now. And the swelling has gone out of my ankles. I have a lot more energy. I also have found that my asthma has improved. So uh, it, it has definitely it has made a big difference. Lee's book, it really gives you a much clearer understanding of exactly what kidney disease is. Don't rush through reading it. Take each chapter and make sure that you have fully understood each chapter. The other thing I do is uh, this, which is an Excel spreadsheet um, of my blood results, and it covers everything. I can very clearly see if there's any upward or downward trends that I don't want. Um, so I can actually maybe do something about that. It came as a, a real shock. It really did. And I actually did quite depressed, get depressed about my future and, and what uh, it held. But I, now I feel a lot better, um, a lot more positive and feel that I can take a bit of control and at least it can have a really positive impact on the 
progression of the disease and um, possibly even help to stop it in its tracks. You know, it doesn't matter if nobody else is going to do something for me. I can do something for myself. It is a big step, but it's, it's well worth it when you see the results at the end. Just hang in there and keep trying.